then the wicked, you ain't got a chance then. <laughs> because you ain't going to be found in the book of life. You're going to be cast into hell. You're going to go to hell, God knows. <laughs>
and the Lord take away the church, right then, tongues shall cease. The Holy Ghost will cease to be pulled out upon the earth. Ain't nobody going to be filled no more. The reason why nobody's going to be filled no more, because there ain't going to be no more church here. We're going to be in the air. Hallelujah. In the air with God. But there's still some people left here. What's your name, brother? Here's Brother Andre. Baptized. Are you baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? God bless your heart. <laughs> Did you have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues? All right. He has the Holy Ghost already. I'm going to use it for an example. <laughs> so imagine Brother Andre on earth, just baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, but yet don't have the Holy Ghost. And this brother's living all he knows. Jesus taught us, blessed is that servant that when his Lord come, find him so doing. So if the Lord come after he done took away the holy and find him living a righteous life, meaning living all he know to do that's right because he's still waiting on the promise, the righteous, come here, brother, come on, son. He got a righteous man. He going to have to come up with the sinner. Because now, the second resurrection take place. And this is what is meant. Whosoever is not found written. Whoever is not found written. In the book of life shall be cast. So what's going to happen to those that are found written? Because while the second resurrection taking place, the church going to be with God. The holy is already with God. But the scripture got to be fulfilled. The righteous scarcely make it. So when you live all you know to do, and yet you didn't receive the Holy Ghost yet. Somebody said, wait a minute. The Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man is born of water and of spirit, he can't get in. That's true. But what about a person that haven't heard it? All right. All right. All right. All right. What about a person that haven't heard it? Suppose a person, suppose a person died and all he heard was a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and haven't heard whether they be in the Holy Ghost like John's disciples. That's right. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? We haven't heard. That's right. Haven't heard. We haven't heard. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. So suppose a person died. They just heard the baptism. And they lived all they knew what was right. God can't hold you accountable for what you have never heard. Because that would make them an unjust God. The church is in the air with God. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to God. The church is in the air with God. You got the holy and the righteous, both deeds are going to be judged out of the book of life. Whoever is not found written. Someone said, well, if he's righteous, then he ain't got a chance to make it. That's not what John said. John said, he that is righteous, let him be. Let him be righteous still. What you mean? He that's living all he knows to do that's right, let him keep doing it. Right until the Lord comes. And if God qualified the righteous man to come with the holy man, then the wicked, you ain't got a chance then. Because you ain't going to be found in the book of life. You're going to be cast into hell. You're going to go to hell, God knows. Do you, you get what I'm telling you? All right, so right there. You know, I think he does a fantastic job again of explaining um, a little bit about the second resurrection and what the process is going to be like. So just to summarize again, there's the holy, right, which is going to be caught up, uh, the church, which is going to be taken up with uh, God or Christ in the second uh, resur or second coming, and then the uh, unholy and then the righteous are going to be left behind. So people that haven't heard the truth or the understanding or knowledge of God, but are living a righteous life, then you have the unrighteous, which is basically everybody else. And so 
in the second resurrection, uh, it's going to be those people that are going to be taken up. So you have the rapture, which is the first. Then you have the second resurrection, which is everyone else coming up. And then we'll all stand in front and then um, be judged and the books will be open. And so you you can read the Bible. It's all in the book of Revelations. But it's very clear. And the passage, you know, does a, another awesome job of just being able to explain that and lay that out. Because I think a lot of people question, you know, what happens to people that don't know the truth about God, but like are righteous people. Like, will God just throw them into hell? Be even when they haven't had the opportunity to learn about the truth so hopefully this answers a lot of your questions that you might have had surrounding that topic and uh, you know hopefully you guys liked it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll continue to create more videos for you guys but um with that being said peace